second date update. Grand romantic gestures on a first date. Mm. Good or bad idea? Uh, Depends I'm on the go. vibe. I'm going to go bad. Yeah. I'd okay. love to say yeah. good, though, Jeff. I love romantic <laughs> I think you're right. Maybe it does depend on the gesture, like yeah. carving your initials into a tree. Cute. Sweet. No, terrible if for the we, tree. Just stop defacing I, like not, nature. Don't worry about the tree. Just <laughs> yeah. sweet for the relationship. Bro, plant seeds okay. in your initials. Yeah, so thank you. Okay. Years, thank you, Jose. Okay, maybe carving initials of all your former victims into the tree. Oh. Maybe that one's not so sweet. Why are they victims mm, no. of what? The tree's also don't a victim ask. at that point. <laughs> I'm saying, you have to remember them somehow. It's just like a whittled stick by yeah. the end of it. But one of our listeners, Patrick, says he's worried that his grand romantic gesture may have accidentally backfired on mm, him. Yeah. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, Patrick, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Uh, hey. It's always like kind of cringy waiting to hear what you did. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just like outside of maybe even flowers feels like pushing it yeah. on a first date. Brooke, you're already hating on <laughs> all romantic gestures yeah, all in any all. form. <laughs> I, we haven't even heard what he did. Okay. Maybe it was something okay. really, really nice. Brooke All right. wants a, a firm handshake and, a, and eye contact. Hello there. No, dude. Dude. Well, well, no. Be careful with the eye contact. Oh, that's sorry. a little bit too aggressive. <laughs> I don't want to be too romantic. What, do you, sorry, what did Patrick. you do? Wait, wait, actually, who did you go out with? That's where we should start, right? <laughs> yeah. What's her name? So her name's Ashley. We, yeah. uh, we met up online. Man, I'll tell you. She's so beautiful. Like, she had the most insane smile. Oh, that's what? sweet. An insane that's nice. smile. That's really like a Joker yeah. smile. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of Joker smile, but then with the tattoos, oh. it really did it for me. Uh, oh. are, are you being serious? Or I, I can't no, tell. I'm totally kidding. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, insane in that, like, you don't see this smile every day. Oh, that's really nice. I okay. love a great smile. Can I just ask you on your dating profile, did, did she have any inkling that you were some sort of romantic person? How Did you that... describe yourself mm. that way? Can't yeah. people describe themselves that way? They can't. I just don't swipe to them, but they well, can do it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe she would like it, yeah. you know? No, I don't, I, I don't like describe myself as a romantic or anything oh, like that. Okay. Yeah. So she didn't know it was coming either. I think the key to a grand romantic gesture yeah. is to be surprising someone with it, not telling people I'm going to surprise you yeah. with a grand Get romantic ready. gesture. Yeah, that's a good point. How many surprises on a first date have we heard that end well? <laughs> well, if they're coming to us, they're, yeah. they're There's got to be a good one, though. We're okay, waiting for the it? one good what one. Tell us that you came yeah. up with a good one, Patrick. Well, I think so. So... Basically, we, we talked for a few days, right? We go out to this, like, mom and pa pizza shop because our chemistry seemed like it was really good. Okay. So okay. invite her out to this place, right? right? Literally the best pizza I've ever had, guys. Oh, it's always those little so Nice, dude. So what was it like when you first saw her? Well, like I said, her smile was insane. It made me want to go crazy. Oh. <laughs> right? It's like, oh that, crazy. That's, in, that's a mean, sweet it, comment to you. It sounds a little psychotic because he keeps using <laughs> the word insane and crazy, yeah. but yeah. I know what he means. And I just think it's nice. Like a welcoming, beautiful smile. Her beautiful eyes made me want to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> it <Yeah>. was amazing. <laughs> Truly. That is it's a kind gesture. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> what was the grand romantic gesture, though? I want to know. So as we're like walking into this pizza place, there's this guy that's selling flowers on the corner. And like I said, I'm not really one to be romantic, but it felt right. And when you're walking by, you're like, ah, that seems like a nice idea. Okay. So, Get her some flowers? Yeah. Yeah. So he's selling these bouquets for like 20 bucks. That's a lot of money. Dude. I only had 15 bucks. You only, oh. oh. Oh, no. Would you do ask her to spot you five bucks so she could get her some flowers? <laughs> hey, buddy, why don't you take like 16 petals off of yeah. that bad boy and buy, uh, I'll buy 15 bucks worth. So she even offered to like give me the other five oh, bucks. No, oh, five that bucks. takes a oh. bag. You can't help me. Wait, pay. you openly said? Okay, never mind. I'm... Okay. No, she offered, first of all. Second of all, I said no. Oh, okay. okay. That's good. But he's like, I will give you one red rose for 15 bucks. Which feels like an even worse idea on a first date. Red roses are like love, and I'm not trying to be weird about it. I just thought it was nice. I don't know. Wow. So you did it? You spent the $15 <laughs> on one red rose? 20 minutes later into wow. haggling for some like, flowers. In front of your date. Color I'm looking up. Like, I don't yellow know. means friendship. Can't yeah. do that I one. think we need to go back to the definition of grand romantic gesture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this this doesn't, it doesn't no, fall no, under no. it. What, what did you end up doing? So clearly this is going really, really well so far. So the uh -huh. deal we ended up doing was uh, <laughs> 10 bucks for this wilted bouquet. And the flowers uh -huh. did not look great. 
I will. Wow. <laughs> Discount That's flowers. Funny. Did she laugh? I mean, did you guys make it a joke? How did she react? That could be so cute. So, I felt like she at least appreciated it. Like I said, the pizza was really the biggest thing. So we still go in, have the best pizza that she says she's ever had. Oh, that's a good sign. And I asked her to go back to mine because things were going so well. And? Oh. Hey. I may have said goodbye the next morning. Oh, hey. that's cute. Flowers got a lot more wilted because the room was so hot. What? <laughs> Steamy little wilton. Nobody wants a humid, no. sticky room. Yeah, Jose. disgusting. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But, well, it's been three days now. And, it's not that long. But long enough where I'm like, where? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, long oh. enough. That's a good way to put it. And she hasn't texted you back at all. So I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, if the flowers gesture didn't seal the deal, then maybe the gesture of getting a phone call from a radio station. Mm. Maybe that'll help push Ooh, her over the edge. Oh, that's pretty grand. Cross my fingers, guys. It's grand. I don't know if it's romantic, we'll, but it's grand. <laughs> we'll find out. We're going to do your second date update right after this. Second date update. Great pizza, mm. $20. <laughs> Stimulating conversation, uh-huh. $0. And? A bushel of badly wilted flowers. <laughs> Should be priceless, but they cost 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and Patrick, our listener, paid it. And it actually worked out for him because Ashley stayed the night over at his place. But after three days, now she's not calling back. We're calling so soon. I'm just so worried that we're too eager. There's no such thing as being too eager in love. (laughs) Yeah, there is. Uh, Well, yeah, don't don't quote me me on that, actually. (laughs) But uh, we're going to try and find out if there's a solid reason for why Ashley has broke off communication. Patrick, how are you feeling? I'm a little bit bummed out. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm okay. confused. That's understandable, I mean, though. it may not be a loss yet. Like we talked about, it's only three days. Maybe she's just busy. Yeah, mm-hmm. but zero, nothing, not yeah. a high, I'm kind not of busy, one. sorry. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. a bad sign. And after $10 of wilted flowers, she <laughs> owes you at least <laughs> something, at an least explanation. A, at least an emoji. I don't know about that. <laughs> but... Let's try and get something out of her here. Are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. And, you know, I, I see that she's gotten my text message, so they're... They've been delivered. She hasn't blocked me. So like you're saying, it's not completely. That was a thought that crossed your mind? That she might block you. You can see, or if it's like seen. (laughs) Maybe. Okay. All right. All right. Patrick, it feels like that happened to you in the past now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Somewhat concerned. like, I know when I've been blocked. Yeah. (laughs) Dating apps are weird, man. Oh, that's what's weird. We can all agree on that. Let's Let's see what she has to say, though. Here we go. Hello. Hey, is this Ashley? Yes, it is. Is this? Hi. Sorry, I don't hope we're not interrupting anything. You sound busy, but uh, we're... No, I'm no at work. Who is this? We're a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Wait. Hola. A radio show? Yeah, an English one. Don't worry. Yeah. With Jose there. <laughs> um, we're called Brooke and Jeffrey, and we're doing something called a second date update. Okay. It's a segment that we do where we try and help some of our listeners get in touch with someone after they've gone on a date. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of oh, fun. Yeah. And we got a guy who's like super eager to see you. But not too eager. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. like right in the middle. Just the oh, medium perfect okay. amount of I thought, eager. I thought you said there wasn't such thing as being too eager. Okay, <laughs> Jeffrey, why are you concerned about it now? I think we agreed uh, that there was no certain yeah. amount yeah. of eagerness that okay. is right. I'm sorry, I'm just a little freaked out. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry, we're, we're calling about a guy named Patrick that you went to pizza with the other night. Sorry, I'm so confused right now. We heard he fed you the best pizza of your life, so that's got to get points. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, yeah, we went to this really cute little, like, kind of, I guess, mom and pop, like, pizza shop. It really was very good. I mean, he told yeah. us all about your date, and so... We we got an idea that it was a pretty good time because you ended up staying the night over at his place. Oh my god! Wow, he's very no. He didn't tell us any th- any details beyond that, but that's okay. I mean, you sound giggly and excited. I will. I don't know. I'm just a little freaked out right now. I've just never been on a radio station before. Sorry. Did you plan on getting back to him to set up, you know, something else? You know, I just haven't like kind of figured it out yet. Uh, there was just something that was like a little bit kind of off so i just haven't had the time to like address it yet okay do you mind if we ask what was off because patrick is Um, really confused he's not sure what happened yeah so i did spend the night over his house um and then like i woke up the next morning and i just felt like 
disgusting. Uh, like uh, we all feel that though. After no, no, what... no, not <laughs> was it like, like that. It was more so like physically. Like I had really oily skin and like really greasy, greasy, greasy hair. And like was he like not change his sheets in a long time? Was I don't it... know, but it was so weird because that first uh, uh, that never has happened to me ever. Even if I haven't washed my hair in like three days, like I don't have mm. greasy hair at all. My skin is actually quite clear. So I take really good care of it. But like I came home just so freaked out. I couldn't wait to go home and just get in the shower. Isn't that like the TikTok thing right now that people are talking about? Like the boyfriend yes, air? Exactly. My roommate said that his boyfriend air and I never heard. It's like, it's what? not him. It's it's like something in the, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it, like you're living in like a leftover pizza box, essentially. Yeah. That sounds mm. kind of nice. Yeah. I would like to live inside of a pizza box. Yeah. Uh, that, I've never heard of boyfriend. You haven't air. heard of that? boyfriend no. air. I feel like it's all of my like college, but then now it's like okay if they're cleaner, you know? Right. So it's just being around him. You think you know, made you, your you skin know, you oily? walk into an apartment and it's like there's maybe a poster tacked up on the wall mm. and like a black leather couch. Usually, right? no soap mm. in the bathroom. Yeah, exactly. Oh, mm. it sounds like Brooke was with Patrick too. <laughs> I mean, like. <laughs> They're an upgrade if they're not sleeping on a futon, like that type of oh. that type of dude. So what is what, that? What was going on? I mean, you weren't that far off, but the futon wasn't on the floor. Like he had a bed, but you were kind of spot on with all the other things. Uh, <laughs> so were you just grossed out by him? Yeah, I was grossed not by him, but like the way that I felt when I left. It like, wasn't was, him; it was mm-hmm. his atmosphere. Let me ask you this: How does the air feel to you right now? Clean. Really? Oh, well, she's yeah. at work. But there is Patrick, who's on the line. Uh, oh. Don't you think the boyfriend air would have snuck in if it was something to do with him? And we're on the air. Through the phone? Yeah. Oh, well, my God. I, I don't know how boyfriend air permeates. Yeah, yeah. I, I just heard of it, so. Yeah. But Patrick is there. <laughs> Patrick? Boyfriend air sounds like the, just the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard. I can't believe that that's the reason that you're not talking to me. How about oh. That doesn't make any sense. It's not- that I'm not talking to you. I'm just like taking a second to like process it because it was so weird and I didn't know how to address it. A I, second or three days. I don't know. Uh, you pull out your phone every time you like look anything up. If you go on maps, if you're navigating, I know that you've looked past our messages a couple times. I'm just confused. I don't. Oh. Well, that's a little harsh. <laughs> uh huh. I just needed a minute to like figure out how I was going to say because this is a really weird conversation to have. I've never been in this situation before. So I'm just surprised by your hostility because you were so sweet. Um, no, I, I, I'm just I, confused. I don't know. It sounds like this is like the second time it's happened. Maybe maybe this is you. Maybe this is a you thing, not me. What? You think that she has bad girlfriend air and she's <laughs> spilling her air into your apartment. <laughs> It sounds like it at this point. I mean, it sounds like, Patrick, your place is just like a stereotypical yeah. bachelor pad. Would That's you agree? Rude. I mean, would you agree with that statement? I've never been there. I don't know. Yeah, I know. That's Why just would you just throw said. out that assumption? Because that's what, what she described like. it as. She described it as boyfriend air. Which she, just, she didn't say his apartment was a dump. Uh, they both. go together. Yeah, yeah. it's the same. Is, that, <laughs> is your apartment a dump, bro? Like, what's in your fridge right now? Listen. I know it's a very good judge of how someone lives. It's a radio bit from 30 years ago. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. Is what it is. Okay. The best rated bit. I don't just have condiments. And as far as like in terms of my apartment, it's the nicest of all of my friends. So that's good. Oh. Step ahead. Okay. I mean, I think we're getting too much into the nitty gritty of this. Da- the bottom well, the line. The gritty was the problem. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just Be saying. More nitty. Ashley, you said that you felt like you had a really nice time, that he had a nice personality and you vibed together. Isn't that the most important part? Sure, but like the logistics, like I don't want to feel like a grease ball every time I hang out with him, every time I go to his apartment. Like Mm -hmm. that's what I've been like considering. Like how do you say to someone, hey, your apartment had a greasy feel about it and Mm -hmm. I feel gross. Like can you do something? What is he going to do, move? Like there's nothing. Well, there's an idea. (laughs) Moving isn't a bad option maybe. (laughs) I didn't think about that. Moving. Patrick? I'm certainly not going to move after a first date. I mean, I I thought things were great, Ashley, but how about this? What if we try your place and see Uh, if you still have the greasy feeling? Because if that's the case, then it's me, not you. That's true. Grease up your apartment. Her place has her own toothbrush and some face wash. Maybe that's all she actually needed. Did you just ask her for a free hookup over at her place this time (laughs) just to test the air? 
Listen, I know you're jealous, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome to steal that if you want to. That's, Actually, wasn't against it. Move. I like how yeah. we're testing the grease levels right yeah, here. <laughs> Ashley, what it's do like... you think? <laughs> Test out the grease and report back to us for a free date? No, it's just like the only person that this is going to prove anything to is him. Like I live in my apartment, so I obviously know it's clean and not greasy. But right. I will say that like nobody's ever done anything like this with me before ever, and it's totally worthy of a second date. Oh, okay. you have a good sense of humor, Ashley. I, know. I like her. Could barely understand what you were saying through the laughter, but she said we second date. Got yeah. a second yeah. date. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah. But the, I guess the rule is this time you can't hook up because the intimacy could lead to extra greasiness. Oh. I read yeah. that on Brooke's bumper yeah. sticker once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long one. Yeah. yeah. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.